Have you ever found yourself wondering, why is it that I've become more emotional in my 40s? It's a question that can really hit home for so many women who are navigating this particular decade of life. And learning how to better control your emotions and get on solid ground mentally and emotionally is really key. And in terms of the constellation of stuff that typically is happening, it's changing hormones, you know, mounting responsibilities. It's really not surprising that situations can start to feel like crisis moments and emotions can run high. So what we're gonna do in this video here is we're gonna understand the why behind the emotions. And as I mentioned, our bodies can really throw some unexpected punches when we hit our 40s. We have hormonal fluctuations. It can be difficult, particularly during perimenopause. And that kind of stuff can turn even the most composed individual into a much more emotionally vulnerable person. But it's not really just our physiology calling the shots. We have career pivots, family obligations, aging parent, parents all adding weight to our day-to-day -day life. And of course, we also can't forget that we have baggage from our past experiences and all that accumulated stress that will, of course, play a part in amplifying our emotional reactions. So what are some actual strategies that we can think about for better emotional control? So number one here is around mastering mindfulness. So this is where you train yourself to be aware of your mental and emotional state, because often we just get way too far down the tracks and that's when we become reactive. So if you can stop and notice how you're feeling sooner and that's the mindfulness piece, that's what gives you the opportunity to actually be more proactive before you get to that reactive state and things feel out of control. Two is what we call emotional fitness. And just like hitting the gym builds physical strength, nurturing your emotional well-being is really key. So something you can do here is explore activities that can bring happiness to your life, whether it's a hobby, exercise routine, you know, spending time with friends and, and family. Number three is community, and that really involves strategic support. So surrounding yourself with a team of allies, friends, family, a trusted coach, a therapist, who can provide some guidance and support, and I think also offer some honest feedback and give you a sense, of course, that you're not alone. So gaining control over your emotions is a journey, and by implementing you know, these types of strategies, you will be well on your way to reclaiming your emotional mastery to be able to thrive in your 40s and beyond. And of course, if you're ready to take the next step on this journey in terms of emotional regulation and, and mastery and you need help in terms of a coach, then please don't hesitate to reach out for a free consultation with us at Elite High Performance. Thanks for listening.